Hi, welcome to BetSafe with myself, Alan McAnally, Sky Sports Soccer Saturday Pundit, and as of course with me, City Striker, or Etsy, well, I wish you were City Striker yeah, now, Paul Dickov. This is uh, doing this Cha- doing this doing this doing this <laughs> Champions League preview for the last 16. We're looking forward to Tuesday and Wednesday, the 21st and the 22nd of February. No trebles, which we would normally give you, so out of the two nights, the Tuesday and the Wednesday, Paul and I will pick something that we think is a good bet. Uh, let's start with Man City Monaco. Um, Man City 47, the draw 72, Monaco 40, 90, 10. Is this trickier than a lot of people are thinking? Yeah, I think so. I think you look at the way Monaco um, performed in the, the two games against Tottenham. Yeah, they the were group very stages, good, they? they? were excellent. Um, but City are hitting a bit of form at the minute. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the last few weeks they, they look like the Man City that started the season, went 10 games unbeaten. Um, the firepower with Gabriel Jesus coming in is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, what they've got now, Vincent Company back fit as well. You know, and they're looking really strong at the minute. It'll be a tough game, but um, especially here at the Etihad with the City fans behind them, I've, I've got to go. I've got to go. With got to go, City. No, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I, I think I don't think it'll be easy. I think it'll, I think it'll be a, a tough game, but I do think in the end, I think City will hopefully grind them yeah. down, and, and any chances that Monaco have, they'll be they'll be huge. The, the one thing I'm going to have to watch, and what impressed me about Monaco was. Um, the power and pace they've got in the counter attack. Yeah. You know, City are going to have a lot of possession here. Um, defensively, they've been better, but still mm-hmm. not great. Um, so Monaco on the break, we've just got to be careful. But I think here at the Etihad and over the two legs, Man City yeah. with the players they've got. To progress to through the two legs, City three to ten, Monaco five to two, and of course the the, the odds for the game forty seven City seventy two the draw forty ninety ten. So almost fives on Monaco if you think Monaco can do it. By Leverkusen against Atletico Madrid. Uh, Leverkusen 13-5, draw 94, Atletico favourite 65. Yeah, that, I think it's going to be it's another close call. Um, got to give you a bit of credit in the group stages. You were yeah. you were going about Leverkusen and saying what a good team they were. But I'm going to flip that now yeah. and say they've struggled. They're, I don't know why, but they've struggled domestically yeah. lately and they're struggling to score goals and the game against Atletico is not what you want nah. but you're right they, they were they were pretty good finished finish above Spurs of course yeah, look, I think you've got to say that uh, if they're struggling to score goals the last team you want to play is Atletico yeah. Madrid because yeah. um, I think they're by far defensively the, the best team left in the mm-hmm. Champions League um, scoring goals again um, and I just think Atletico I can see that being 0 now. I really could and mm-hmm. Atletico taking them back to Madrid um, and, and winning the tie there. So let's go over the two legs of favourite to go through pr- to progress. Leverkusen 20, 90, 10. Leverkusen 13 to 5, 94 the draw. Atletico 65 odds against oh. on Betsafe, which I think might just be my favourite bet of the Tuesday and the Wednesday. Porto against UV. We spoke last week about <coughs> Porto and Benfica being tough places to go. UV, they, look, they just seem to walk away with the Serie yeah. every every season now. Um, They're top, aren't they? Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's going to be tough for them going there, but um, I think UV are strong. I fancy them this year in the Champions League to mm. to get through to the quarters at least again. Um, but a little bit like talking about Atletico, I could see UV going there, getting a draw, um, taking them back to Turin um, and finishing the title there. Porto 5-2, to two, the draw 11-5, to five, Juventus 13-10. to 10. Big price for Juventus, yep. if you think, considering the top of Serie A flying. I know that, to be fair, um, Porto are, uh, I think, are one point behind yep. Benfica, so they're still going all right, although they do dominate that Portuguese lead, league. Uh, and to progress over the two legs, Porto 27-10, UV odds on to win the game over the two legs. OK, closer to home again, Sevilla versus Leicester. No, they've been better certainly in the Champions League than they have domestically, Leicester. Yeah, they have, but this is a this is a big test for them. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the the last time they played in the Champions League, I think they lost five or six to Porto. Yeah. Didn't they? We were just talking about. I know they played a weekend team. I think we tipped up Porto as well. Yeah, big they were time. Then, they? Big time, but Sevilla um, competing with the big boys, with the Madrids, the Atleticos, the Barcelonas. Um, they're up there in La Liga. Good team. Um, Samar Nasri, obviously, who's on loan from here, is. Is on fire at the minute, and you know, in, in European matches, that they're strong. I think they've won the last 123 Europa yeah, leagues yeah, yeah, at the minute. Um, but I can't. You know, I'd love to see my old club progress mm. and get a result to avail, but I can't see it at all. Sevilla so seven to fifteen, so the odds on the draw seven to eight to five. Leicester thirteen to two to progress. Three to seven for Sevilla. Leicester eleven to six. As much as this has been a wonderful campaign, they finished top of the group, didn't top they? Of the group, yeah, top yep. of the group, I couldn't remember that. Top of the group, um, 
the problem is now that it's been lovely to be involved in the Champions League, but does that take a back seat now the Champions League? Because surely Premier League survival is the the end of the, the th- world if they don't. I think it's got to be. They've got to concentrate purely on the Premier League and staying mm. in there. You can't be champions one no, <laughs> one, no. one season and get relegated, get relegated the next. So no, exactly. all their efforts have got to do that. But in saying that, that might take the pressure off them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. possibly. I mean, that's just like the thing for them to go there and get a wonderful yeah. result and then kick on and use the, that that to help the domestic the, form. They, they need something to start getting a bit of momentum. Yeah, they exactly. do because um, they can't buy a win at the minute, but. I think it's severe quality, quality team and Leicester could struggle. Champions League preview with Alan McInally and Paul Dekov. We're looking at Wednesday the 21st, Wednesday the 22nd, the four games for the last 16. OK, give me your best bet out of those four games if you remember them. I've got to go with uh, the boys behind City, me. 47. City, 47. Monaco will be tough for them. Um, but I just think they're hitting a bit of momentum at the minute, mm. Man City, and um, that's going to be my tip for them. I like it. Week. I like it because I'm going to double up and I'm going to put mine in as well. I'm going to go for Atletico Madrid to beat Leverkusen six to five. That is so that'd be a nice little double. City here at 47. Atletico for me to win at Leverkusen six to five. Good luck with all your Champions League bets, and of course we'll be back soon with our normal Premier League preview. But I'm looking forward to the Champions League. Good luck to all your bets.